as I'm sitting here working on my next video for the Altos TRX 766, a $20,000 zero turn mower, I was doing some keyword research and I actually noticed that a lot of you people out there are searching for mowers that cost under a thousand dollars zero turn mowers which makes sense right a lot of people just want to know what the absolute most affordable option is out there for them because i know personally if i can spend less on a machine that's going to do just as good of a job then i'm at least going to consider it well in this video we'll look at zero turn mowers that cost only a thousand dollars to see if they're worth the cash. To support this channel, like, subscribe, comment, and visit tractorbob.com. Now let's dive in. All right, so starting off, let's look at some of the new mowers that cost around a thousand bucks, and then we'll look at some of the used options as well. So I have pulled up here mowers for a thousand dollars. First one that comes up is used. Um, second one here, AliExpress. The Cub Cadet ZT Ultima 1. I've actually featured this in a top mower for like $3,000 video uh, that I did in a while back. So I'm kind of familiar with this mower. Um, but this is coming from AliExpress. So, uh, and it's also saying that it can't be shipped to us. So again, this mower is probably going to cost more closer to $3,000 uh, in reality, wherever you're finding, wherever you're looking to buy it. All right, the next one is from a company called DM Softs. This is Husqvarna Z248F, and we actually carry this, uh, but we sell it for right around $3,000. So uh, it's marked here as $9.99. I want to buy this, guys. I want to buy into it. Let's look at Contact Us. Um, oh, okay, so .co.uk. So this might be coming from the UK here. So, But a solid mower, right? So... You could probably find one of these used for a thousand bucks and that would probably be a good deal if it didn't have too many hours on it. If it had 200 hours or something like that, it would probably be a good buy for a thousand bucks. Here's one for under 2000. And it's probably the cheapest mower I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> if I'm being quite honest, I mean the axle itself could barely hold me at 200 something pounds and then what's up with the engine being like right below your butt with like a piece of thin plastic separating you from the mower oh geez let's look at the specifications on this deck gauge 14 gauge deck fuel capacity only 1.3 gallons it says the recommended acreage somewhere was like one acre uh, for this mower, which that was that's the maximum I would do with a 30 inch with a 30 inch deck 10.5 horsepower Briggs engine I've never even seen a 10.5 horsepower engine on a on a riding mower Until until right now. So that's very very small. Okay, so if you're mowing like a little strip of grass and you're not gonna have to worry about ruts or anything because this thing will get stuck with how small the tires are um, then yeah maybe this would that maybe this would work but again it's over the price range so let's go back to our screen here aliexpress another one that's probably not gonna be able to get shipped to you um, that's an ego mower again the ego mowers they're one of those things where they're like made really cheap right i know there's videos out there online that like they take it right off the trailer. It's brand new right out of the box and they start taking off and mowing with these things and they like, you know, cut tall grass. Well, any mower right out of the box is going to cut grass, right? But it's about how long will it hold up? And with the egos, it's like about features. So they like integrate all these fancy features. Like this one is like electric and has a steering wheel and all this stuff. And, you know, so they give you like all these plasticky electronic features, um, lights and stuff like that. And that's where the money is spent on these mowers. So you're paying for the features, not so much for like a quality build on a machine. But again, AliExpress, 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 AliExpress. Um, never heard of Big League. We'll just click on it real quick. I've never heard of this company. I don't know where this company's out of. But again, like use your discretion. 
when CN mowers like for this price. And again, nothing against any of these companies, right? You can go vet these companies yourself or whatever. Um, so nothing against them. They could be totally legit. All right, so this is like the cheapest time cutter that you can get. Look at the look at the mower on this. It's a perfect circle. It's basically like you have a push mower, but then they like put that on the frame of like the lightest duty commercial mower, right? So look at how small these tires are. Very, very, very small. So not a problem if like for certain conditions, right? If like you're never cutting when it's wet, you're like, it's flat, right? You're not cutting any ditches or whatever. And you can use a 30, this is a 32 inch cut. So it's a little bit bigger than it looks in the image. Because in the image, it looks small. It looks smaller than that. Um, 1479. That's surprising that there's a time cutter out there for this cheap. Because I think, again, if you go to dealerships or if you go to stores and you look at the time cutter mowers, you're going to see slightly bigger ones than this that are going to cost more money than this. Uh, but for $1,479, you know, it'll cut grass. Um, now, whether or not it'll ever get to you, that's another, that's another question altogether. Okay, so now that we looked at new zero turn mowers for about $1,000 that came up on the top search results of Google, let's go to some other places where people are commonly buying zero turn mowers in the United States and look at the minimum prices of some of those mowers on their websites. Now again, I recommend going through a dealership. So if I put in a thousand, it's gonna say the minimum price is $28.99 for the mowers that I have. So what's the $28.99 mower that they got? It's gonna be this Craftsman right here. Now let's just click in on this mower um, and look at the quality of this machine. So it's got a stamped deck. It's not gonna be favorable to a fabricator just in terms of um, durability. 13 gauge deck, so not as light duty as that one mower that we already saw, but still pretty light duty. 3.5 gallon fuel capacity. That's about to be, it's kind of what you expect on a mower for this price. Now let's go to their number one competitor, Home Depot. Again, nothing wrong with these companies. I, I shop at these companies sometimes. Um, only buying mowers from Tractor Bobs, but I shop at these companies. So the only one that they have that looks like it's in the $2,000 range, like not $3,000, is this one, which we haven't seen yet. Looks pretty standard. Uh, this one doesn't have like rubber floor mats. And then on top of that, the materials that you're gonna be getting are gonna be light duty as well. 19 horsepower engine, three gallon gas tank, 13 gauge deck, so similar to that Craftsman. Uh, it cuts 42 inches, 42 inch cutting width. 20 inch rear tires, so not too bad. And 11 inch front tires, so the tires aren't aren't too bad of a size. So yeah, but again, you can spend $27.99. You're already spending that much money. What's a few extra hundred dollars to get a mower that's gonna last you a little bit longer with a little better engine? you know, stuff like that. Um, Cause these, this is gonna be probably the cheapest option you'll find. So let's just go to tractor supply that they're gonna have, which we carry the bad boy products. We like the bad boy products. I personally like the bad boy products a lot because they're nice and heavy duty, right? So that's good. Um, these Toro mowers, Toros are known to be pretty good. Uh, but again, these are getting up into that way over a thousand dollar price range. So yeah, it looks like the cheapest option they have is this Cub Cadet, which we also saw at the top of Google advertised for under $1,000. Um, in reality, the ZT1 42 inch, which is the one right here, is actually $2,999. So let's go used and we'll go to Facebook Marketplace. I'm gonna put in zero turn mower here. I'm gonna put $1,200 as my max price. All right, so I am getting a couple options here. So we got like a snapper ride-on mower, an $800 time cutter that looks like it's seen better days. That tire does not look good. Um, some mowers. So this is another option to look, 
again, you got to see through the dirt and you got to be prepared to maybe work on it a little bit if you're getting it for this price. Um, this one looks pretty new. It's like a tiny little like sit on mower, similar to that other one that we were just seeing, which is surprising. Uh, so the engine, you're going to be sitting right on top of the engine. It's literally like the exact same thing as that other mower we were looking at. Um, and again, uh, $1,100. So on Facebook Marketplace and other listing platforms, you're likely to find some good used zero turn mowers that might cost right around $1,000. Um, and as far as new zero turn mowers go for a thousand bucks, we can see that they're super hard to find. Check out some of the videos on the Tractor Bob YouTube channel. We go over mowers in the $3,000 to $4,000 price range and above. So if that might interest you, you can always check that out. To support this channel, like, subscribe, comment, and visit tractorbob.com. See you in the next one.